Welcome to the Mob Channel, syndicated cable TV for legit businessmen in Atlantic City, Las Vegas, and other important cultural centers. My name is Vinnie Pellegrino. And I'm Dutch Montuzo. Tonight, we're in the screaming room. No, that's screening room, not screaming room. No. Where we will be discussing our favorite motion pictures of the past 20 years. Oh, Dad! Sweetheart, can't you see we're doing a show here? Well, yeah, but there's this guy in the corner. Did you see the light there that says on the air? Yeah, but there's this guy, Freddy the Fish, and Until Freddy the Fish, I'll call him back after the show. Sorry! She's a sweet kid. Not too bright. Okay, face the white from our sponsor. Folks, you got fading whites. Ring around the collar? Just can't seem to get out those nasty stains? Try new improved HIT. That's right, HIT. The miracle laundry soap what rubs out dirt. Now just the other day, I got my shirt soaked in blood. Now I don't know how that happened. Hey, it happens. Yeah. But one cap full of HIT. Bada bing! My shirt was white as snow. Let HIT take your ugly stains for a ride, and they will cease to cause you trouble. Not recommended for money laundering, however. Okay, enough sucking up to the sponsor stuff. Let's get on with the show. Dutch and I have taken a very thorough look at our top flicks. Each one of them gets two thumbs up. <laughs> Us guys what still got thumbs, if you know what I mean. <laughs> now I'm a fine believer in pictures with a social conscience. You know what I'm saying here? Movies with uplifting social and moral values. Yeah, which brings me to my number one pick, Scarface with Al Pacino. One step out of line and crack, you get hit with a baseball bat. Hey, Vin, that's good, but what's that got to do with uplifting social and moral values? Nothing, I just liked it. My favorite motion picture was The Field of Dreams. Now, Kevin Costner goes out in the cornfield, right? And all of a sudden, he hears the voice. If you build the baseball field, dead guys will come. What are you talking about? Yeah, yeah, if you build the baseball field, dead guys will come. That ain't what he said. Oh, yeah, Mr. Wise Guy? What'd he say? If you build it, the dead guys will come. Oh, Dutch! It's if you build it, they will come. Sweetheart, if I want your input, I'll ring your bell. So the voice says, if you build it, they will come. Now that was a voice of a spirit. Ooh, hey, go easy on the spirit stuff, will you? What do you got against spirits? Gives me the creeps. I'd just assume the dead guy stayed dead, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Well, anyway, my next favorite motion picture was The Lion King! <laughs> I love it when the old monkey goes climbing up on the rocks. He picks up the little cub. He was so cute. <laughs> it makes me tear up just to think of it. Yeah, it's a pretty good flick, but it's no Scarface. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta admit, it's pretty impressive to get over 200 talking animals in one motion picture. What are you talking about? Those aren't real animals. What are you talking about? It's a cartoon, Dutch. Ooh. Well, anyway, one of these days I'm gonna meet Walt Disney. I'm gonna shake his hand. I got bad news for you. Walt Disney is dead. Somebody whacked Walt Disney? What can I tell you? Who whacked him? Hey, we're talking 40 years here. How do I know who whacked him? Probably Hanna-Barbera, Looney Tunes, one of them guys. I'm upset here, Vin. Hey, we'll get over it. You know what? We're running out of time. Folks, thanks for watching the Mob Channel. This is Vinny Pellegrino. And I'm Dutch Montuzo. Tune in next week or our boys, they pay you a visit.